the problems the Republicans have been having for almost months now in terms of like what they're going to extort or attempt to extort from the country to not crash the economy and have the United States default for the first time on its debt in its history. Um, they've been really flailing around looking for something ever since Donald Trump ordered them not to touch Social Security and Medicare. And now they're still going to try and find ways of cutting it. Uh, but it's just not going to happen so explicitly in the debt ceiling. So Kevin McCarthy goes to uh, Wall Street and says, I've got an idea. Let's hurt poor people. Our proposal will also restore work requirements that ensure able bodied adults without dependents earn a paycheck and learn new skills. That will grow our economy and help the supply chain. Right now, there are more job openings than people who are looking for jobs. You know why? It's in part because the Biden administration weakened work requirements. Incentives matter. And the incentives today are out of whack. It's time to get Americans back to work. First of all, the labor participation rate is back up to where it was in, uh, you know, pre-COVID levels. Yeah. Um, I mean, put, putting that aside, we know the job requirements do not incentivize people to go and get a job. Um, it is, there's no jobs for them that they qualify for. This is just absurd. It has, it is, it has been a failure every time it's been attempted. Um, and to say this too, within the context of the Fed literally disciplining labor as we speak, because they want to s curb inflation, which we now realize is not because of overemployment; it's because of corporate price gouging and the the remaining supply chain issues. And we, you headline this. The Iowa food stamp story. Iowa and other Republican states are going to spend millions of dollars in administrative costs to kick families off of food stamps with these work requirements. The fiscal responsibility Republicans are going to pay money. I mean, just like they didn't take the free money for Medicaid expansion, but now they're going to pay money to get people off of government programs because it's all about how much leverage can you have over somebody, including hunger. I want to leverage hunger to make sure that you take lower wages. And we're literally talking about, in terms of like these food stamp payouts for someone without any dependents, we're talking tens of dollars. Yeah. Tens of dollars. Like, I'm not going to work because I'm getting 23 bucks a week to buy food. <laughs> I mean, this stuff is insane. It's it a little on the nose, sadistic. too, that he says it at the literal stock exchange. Yeah, and Politico reported this morning or the last night that um, the, with an uh, article titled "McCarthy's Pitch to Shrink Food Aid," drawing skepticism from fellow Republicans. So he also wants to do this to snap as well. Obviously, in terms of like the other benefits that he can sort of curtail, and it's not he's not even doing this. I would say with like a mandate to do so from his own caucus. Like I don't think I think there are probably thirty to forty vulnerable sort of like. Um, Frontline swing seat Republicans that want nothing to do with in this. the house, yeah, with this type of. I plan. would guess. I don't think a lot of like, for example, freshman Republicans in New York State or yes, some of the. I don't think they're going to want to vote for a bill that's like, yeah, we're going to vote to take away your social programs and cut your food stamps and make you work to get Medicare. And maybe if that was in a vacuum, Bradley, they would be okay with it. But it's within the context of a debt ceiling fight, right. and no regular person's like, let's crash the economy over twenty extra bucks for SNAP. It's all that, and oh, and also we might just default on our debt and shut down the government. It's just abs <laughs> yeah, uh, they, they've got nothing. That's that's why Trump is so valuable right now yeah. in this current yeah. moment. I I mean, like what he's doing with the he, he you were out, but he came out with another ad about DeSantis and Social, Social Security. Security. And oh, without a doubt, it's it, that I'm loving it. Without a doubt, uh, we've been saying that. Like, it's I mean, look, <laughs> yes. we saw them at the, the we, we saw this at the State of the Union. I mean, it's it's all it's uh, the, the the die has been cast. They have run out of of stuff to talk about, without a doubt, and um, they they just they basically just revert to their safe space. You know, he's there. He's do, giving that speech for donors, yeah. essentially. 
um, is really what it's about. Like, we're playing our role. We're going to attack poor people to the extent that we can, you know, without uh, the, 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 the ability to attack Social Security and Medicare because the, the, <laughs> Donald said that we couldn't do that. Um, and then he'll head out to some, I don't know, uh, county fair in, um, you know, uh, North Dakota and, and talk about how they're going to, you know, stop the creeping trans ideology or whatever it is. I mean, that's basically the formula there. He's real political winners. Go to their winners. safe space of, of attacking uh, the, you know, anybody with any type of like marginal political power in, in, in the country.